Hey, what's up guys, Jonathan's here once again, and today we are taking a look at these brand new Samyang VAF lenses. Um, they're brand new to me. They are and have been out for a little while, um, but I have recently just managed to pick the two up, the 75 and the 35 mil. And as you can see, both of them have the cinema adapters on them. Um, I chose to go that route just so that it's easier instead of having to always switch um, the adapter um, when you change lenses. So um, just a little bit about this adapter allows you to have manual focus on the fly. And what happens is when you attach this adapter to the main lens, this gear here then becomes manual focus and that links up with a few chips that's inside of here and that allows you to do so and so that means that when you're not doing cinema work you can actually just use the lens as it is for autofocus on the sony cameras um, the sony camera that i currently use is the a7r mark V, and as you saw in some of my vlogs that i recently just did a project with and also featured these two lenses, the 35 and the 75 VAF Samyang lens. Um, it, they are both T1.9 in aperture and the shallow depth of field is really, really good. One major thing that I clocked when I was using it for the music video um, is chromatic aberration especially the 75 mil it's really really bad and um, for some people who don't want chromatic aberration in their images but that allows the lens to have character instead of very clinical look and so um, this is the kit that i've picked up i'm still doing some tests with it so far i am pleased with the resolution that it can render because obviously the a7r5 can shoot up to 8k and then also the image quality out of this the sharpness they are actually tack sharp very very um, amazing to my um, discovery thinking that because they are samyangs they're not going to be that good but I can vouch for it and I can tell you that it is very, very good lens for the price tag. And so um, the main body on its own, um, when I say body, I mean as in the main lens on its own varies and um, they go for around five to seven hundred pounds. And then you have to pay another four hundred pounds or five hundred almost for this adapter if you're going to use it for cinema work. Um, having said that, it doesn't mean that you need this adapter for cinema work but you can also just use this on its own for cinema work. However, you can do manual focus, but what the heck, a lot of people are saying that manual focus is better, but nowadays with cameras such as the A7R5 and the A1s and the Canon R5Cs and stuff, the autofocus for cinema work are really, really, really good. Um, but I just needed uh, this for the aesthetics as well. And so pairing these two together, um, they fully now look and feel like a cinema lens that does autofocus, secretly does autofocus without anyone knowing and I'm always nailing the shot. Um, one major thing as well that it's not really a downside for me is the autofocus is not as fast as a native um, Sony lens. However, the smooth um, um, transition between the foreground and background with regards to the speed of the autofocus is very very cinematic and so it works very well as a cinema lens um, with this combo and so looking at this on its own you're looking at at least about 1200 pounds for one single one with the adapter and as i said i have opted out to have both of them adapted at the same time so that i don't have to keep switching in between them and also aesthetically they look a lot nicer um, i am looking out for um, to get the 24 mil and then also the 100 mil. So stay tuned for the review on that in regards to also the chromatic aberration and the sharpness and image rendition. But for now, stay tuned for the next video. Peace.